I've been making some axes, Viking style axes to be precise. And you see the profile, really slim, really slim, slicey, cutty, choppy Viking fighting axe. The two two different steels. I've got a spring steel in the core with a mild steel wrapped around to form the uh, head for the haft. Number two, very similar, just slightly different decoration on it. It's the first one I made actually, that one. It's quite a bit deeper and and it's it's heavier and the half slimmer. Um, Here's another one and that's a little leather kind of half protector I made for it which wants some lacing going through there to lace the back up you can see the two ash wedges inside there to spread the outside of the ash into the loop of the haft that also wants a couple of steel wedges making and putting across which will expand the timber that way and it'll stop the head rocking then but they're, pre they're pretty tight these inside there you can see that uh, these are shaped to, to butt up to the steel work the, st the timber doesn't run underneath well it does but the outside is also butted up to that steel work to stop any rocking and rolling and a jumping in a jive in and uh, I'm just going to put a head on this one similar again this hasn't been sanded fully or etched yet um, I'll do that as soon as I've got it fitted onto this so what I've got to do probably imagine is make that square end fit into that round end and up to there so I'm going to show you how I do that now I've got another I was going to put the um, I was going to I was going to start with the forging video on this because I've got another axe to forge but that axe head uh, is being sent off to a guy who doesn't want the half putting on it so I'm just going to make the head and I'll tag that on the end of this video or I may, may do another video separately on that see how long this half takes to put on but I'm going to show you how I forge the axe head on that one uh, cutting and grinding and the shaping to bring to get that you know that beautiful profile of that axe out so let's crack on with this wooden haft this is ash very straight grained as you can see and this has been drying in my workshop for about three years so it is very very dry it's very straight I'll say very straight grained um, it's about an inch thick and it's got to be obviously I'm going to cut that oval out to stick it into there so I'll crack on with that this timber is so dry that it's the devil to work because it's so dry and it's gone really tough so I've found cutting tools don't really they don't really do the job so I've been using a rasp on these to literally just rasp the wood away first job I've got to do is, is mark the profile onto the end grain that's why I'm not started shaping this yet so that I can hold it in the vise square and so that I can put it down on the bench square to fit the end so what I'm going to do is lay the axe head onto there, like that, and I'm going to sight it so that it's still in line with the shaft and not, you know, kicked over one way like that. I'm just going to leave a little bit there, make sure it's level on each side. Make sure it's straight, which is it is about there. Uh, just mark that on. Here's the long leaded pencil. So I can just see in there. That's it. So we need to take everything out. 
outside that line. I've also got to position the head that way so that uh, it's at 90 degrees to the, sh to the haft which that looks about right there and I'll drop that down a bit so that that pencil line on the end lines and I've got it about there somewhere so that's around there and I'll leave a little bit sticking through as well so about there about there and the trouble you see with marking that on there is you've marked that line on there but it should be on the other side because that's how the half goes on so what I've had to do is get, take a piece of card and I've had to just get the profile on, of this side and then mark it onto there pretty much so I'll slip the card in there and I'll make sure that the card is in line with the haft and the axe head because that's where the, the axe head wants to be so I'll make sure the card lines up with the timber work which it does there and then I'll just mark on of course it wouldn't matter if the timber was shooting inside there omit this step but I think that the head is going to be more stable if it's butted up to that uh, profiling on the on the head. So that's what I've got there you can see it's quite a bit different to the other one if I zoom in you can see that's quite a bit different to the to the other line so I'm just going to mark that with my card, mark your card, hey hey. It's too long there, so that once whacking off there, approximately to there, we need to get rid of that. I'll just go and cut that off now, it saves me unnecessarily chopping wood away. Just cut that off there as well on the bandsaw. Just took them two shoulders off, not up to the line. It just saves me removing wood with the chisel. Wouldn't chop all the way onto the line, but went towards it. Final fit once I can get the head of the axe slid onto the haft anyway. Then I know them corners have got to come down a bit because that's rounded in the corners. So you can say I'm looking at the profile on the end and I'm just chopping to that line. Is there. Chisel running. And then we can chop out the other side. More or less it. 
rocking the chisel without pushing too hard because if it slips off here it's going to go straight through my hand <laughs> This is really tough. Is that side done? See on the uh, see on the pencil line there. Just gonna take that out now. Let's head on. I can look towards getting a proper set of lines and marks on it then. Try that. I don't think it will go on, but I'm going to try it. So take the rasp. There he is, rasp. So this is what I meant about just getting the head onto the on the actual handle or the haft first so I can see that that profile isn't quite right. That profile's a lot better, although it wants to go back further so that, that one will seat so I can draw and redraw that now. Now as I've got it in. Just fitted, it's required a bit of adjusting, a bit of tapping, um, so I'm ready, ready to shape the half now. I'm going to do this with the Farrier's Rasp which is a really coarse, coarse file and I'll smooth the side on that side and that coarse side for you know really ripping timber off. So, you know, I know where I'm working to. Well, let's do that. Do the other side now. Uh, round that back over. And I'm going to define that it's a little sweep in there a bit more. I'm just going to cut it something like that. Just 
bring it in there. Finish shaping and sanding. I've got the head fitted on. So I've just got to make a couple of wedges. Um, you know, similar to that, and drive them into there. Oil the handle. So not too bad that one. Nice pleasing shape there. Quite wide at the back so it doesn't slip out your hands, but uh, very nice. 